ready. Okay. So we're looking at the bottom teeth here um, from above. And what we can see mainly down here is this tooth here, uh, which is a lower incisor, is pushed to the towards the tongue there. So we've got some crowding. Uh, let's see here. And right now in the in the back, it's all baby teeth, so that looks pretty normal there. Um, mm -hmm. Just to step back again, so the front four here are permanent. The next three are baby teeth on each side, and then the mm -hmm. last ones are permanent. So the crowding's among the the permanent incisors there. So like I said, on, on the back, on both sides, it's baby teeth, so everything looks fairly normal there. Um, when we look at the top, um, we've got the two central incisors, laterals haven't peeked through yet, and we've got a very deep overbite. And what that means is we can't see any of the lower teeth when we're biting down. Um, mm -hmm. Ideally, we should see about three quarters of the lower teeth. Uh -huh. Moving up to the upper teeth, um, we can see these lateral incisors haven't poked through yet. They're maybe just about to or starting to push through, but they haven't haven't come in yet. Um, they're probably a little bit short on space. In other words, the tooth is probably going to be a little bit bigger than the space available there. This side looks a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So that's about it for the diagnosis of what, what issues we have. In terms of what we can do, um, there's going to be kind of two things we can do. One is we could wait a little bit for these lateral incisors on the top to start to come in to see what they look like. Sometimes we, we don't initiate um, treatment until we have enough of the teeth in so that we can see if there's a problem on top too. So in other words, instead of addressing the bottom and then you know six months down the road, we figure out, oh, there's something going on on top too. Mm -hmm. Maybe waiting until we at least know what these incisors are yeah. gonna look like before we initiate anything. Re with regards to the bottom here, um, you know we are crowded down there. It would be nice to have room. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes what we'll do is we'll bracket the, the front six teeth or we'll start with the front five, make room for that one. Usually what we'll do is between some brackets, we'll compress a little spring, which will push these two apart. And then once there's a little bit of room, we get a bracket on that one and move it into place. Hmm. Um, so You that, think there's room for that, huh? Well, we have to make room. Yeah, so, I yeah. mean, you, you can make we, room. We can that. make room, oh, yes. Wow. The other option, if, if we feel like we can't make room, then the other option is sometimes to remove a baby tooth but when we do that, that that's okay to do that but we're just borrowing space right. and mm -hmm. passing the crowding back to mm -hmm. later which mm -hmm. is okay too sometimes we borrow space and realize they'll be crowding you know down the road to, to address as well what i would probably recommend um you know th this isn't gonna i don't think cause any short-term problems in mm -hmm. other words if we leave this crowded for now it's not going to get any mm -hmm. worse in the short term um, and unless it's hurting her for some reason, you know, we could probably leave it for a little bit until we, we at least see what, you know, these look like once they pop through. Uh -huh. So that would be my recommendation is probably to wait about six months, see uh -huh. if, if these have popped through by then, and then see if, if the top, you know, warrants any treatment at that point. Uh -huh. um, and then, you know, we can revisit the bottom at that point too. But like I said, if we wait six months, it's probably going to look pretty much identical you know, to what we see now. Right. So, um, yeah, I think that's kind of 